Hey everybody, it's BC here, and welcome to another episode of Space Engineers. Yes, I'm up in the stellar ray today. I wanted to do a, do, do a little bit of work up here I was talking about doing. Oh, yellow. Is this thing out of power, or is it just not using any power? Oh, that's a good thing I came up here. Oh, there you go. We're green, we're good to go. Uh, yeah, uh, today I just want to do a little bit of, little bit of housework, we'll call it. Uh, you know, that big project we did, did down there, it's... <laughs> tired of seeing orange for a while, let's put it that way. But, uh, never did do any work up here with the stellar array, and I'm thinking about put, moving these jump drives, or putting a second one in. So, I was thinking about actually coming through here, because I'll take up two, right, like so. Uh, how was I going to do this? Was it just going to be that one? Oh yeah, take all, all nine of them out. Uh, I do have everything made to make a second jump drive. I've actually been quite busy getting a lot of stuff produced uh, down there. I've had both those uh, both those main assemblers running full bore for a while, and I've had to do a little bit of little, couple of mining runs with uh, the Tic Tac there. And uh, one of the things I ended up getting was about six, a little over six tons of cobalt, which is actually pretty good. And then I had to get what else? Silver, a little bit of gold, but the gold I had to get from underneath, which yeah, you know, it isn't too bad except the fact I can't get a, get a big miner in there. Anyways, I might have to make a small one. That really looks cool. I want to get a couple more ion engines on here too. Uh, I'm gonna take this one out. I know I'm gonna need more bat power cells, but I made a few, so that's good. I actually made about four thousand. Uh, what I want to do is I've got a whole bunch of stuff crafting to like seriously ramp up this solar array. Uh, we're using, I'm using so much power right now, this can't even keep up. It's actually running off the ship's uh, reactor right now. It's using about a kilo every 10 minutes or so, so it's not the end of the world, but you know, I don't want to be wasting it, right? But yeah, I wanted to get these jump drives in here and... Uh, oh god, I saw that ring and I thought something was rolling towards me. <laughs> it's pretty, pretty sad when you can't even remember your own builds, right? But anyway, uh, yeah, I'm gonna put these jump drives in. Uh, get a little bit of a little more glass going around, and I'll bring you back. I'm thinking we might uh, head back out to where are you? Where are you, Mars? Head back to Mars. Uh, I think Mars has two moons. It was Euro Europa and Titan. Uh, I could be wrong, but I'm pretty. I'm pretty sure I saw two moons out there, and I want to go check them out just just to see what the the planet's like. A little too far. It's like that diamond pickaxe that's a change on Minecraft. Sometimes it's a little too much. But anyways, uh, let me get this all finished up and I'll bring you back. And there we have it. Ah, it doesn't look too bad. A little more open concept. Uh, I like the fact of actually, you know, walking around and actually seeing the space down below. My god, this glass is dirty. I got a hair made one of these days. Alright, so now to add some batteries. To match the ones we have above. So that gives us a total of 16, which is, what was it, 64 megawatts of storage, which is really good. And now for some new engines, or more engines. And we should be good to go. So basically I just doubled up all the engines that we have. I got a four, four for the side to side, four forward, four backwards. And I just left a up and down, or sorry, eight. Oh yeah. That actually works out. Oh, all oh, worked out perfect. Anyways, uh, yeah, I have been noticing a slight lag every time it's not a save. I wonder why. <laughs> I was working on this thing, and I keep seeing this thing, and it's like, my god, what have I done? Uh, it's playable. It's all that matters. As long as I don't fly into it, we should be okay. But anyways, that should be all set, so let's go see how this thing does. And then, uh, yeah, I think maybe we'll go head out to, uh, to Mars, go check out those moons, and then come back and quickly finish up the, the solar array. Alright, so let's see how it accelerates. It's still slow, but what do you expect that? What are we at, 1,500 tons? Yeah, somewhere around there. I'm carrying a bit of weight too, so that's probably got something to do with it. 
but that works. So oh, put the dampeners on. And then it's actually that's the moon. It's actually set a destination from from Mars. Uh, yeah, J is not how you go to the jump drive. <laughs> of course not. Now, so I just go here and I gotta find old Mars one here. Somewhere in the list. Current jump. What? Hang on. Never mind, I'm just being an idiot. Should be good to go. Alright. At least this doesn't take forever. Let me go check out these moons. One, I'm curious to see how, actually, how big they actually are. Alright, let's uh, zoom out. That's the only thing I don't like about the jump drive is it always changes your view. So what do we have for moons around here? There's one over there. And imagine the other one's on the other side of the planet. Let's do a blind jump. I have no idea how far that's going to be. Let's see here. Let's aim this way. Fortunately, we don't have to worry about jumping right into it. And I'm gonna. I'm gonna go ahead and say 200. Oh, hit the wrong button again. Now you see why I put a survival kit on here. I'm gonna need it. Alright, and then uh, I got this one hot kit as well. We're gonna do a blind jump on this. And I think it went 150. I'll right, go 200. Alright. Well, what the drain both of them or what? I might have this do a little bit of AFK here. Yeah, well, I'll use jump drive, drive one then. Okay, remove. We'll do a blind jump of 150 or somewhere around there. Let's go 200 this time. Let's see where that takes us. It almost looks like the Death Star. Massive crater in it. Maybe it is. Maybe it's one of these new random encounters we talked about. No, definitely a nice planet. Very interesting. I believe this is Europa. Asteroids look a little different to me, but that could be... Just me. No, I thought there was a second moon around here. At least I thought there was. Weird texture and effect going on. Alright, well, uh, let's try another blind jump, I guess. See how close we can get. And uh, I'm going to do this off camera. Well, here we are. What I'm actually going to do... First, I'm going to heal myself from uh, taking off my helmet a couple of times, being a dumbass that I am. That's actually really cool. Big ball of ice. But I'm going to make a GPS marker here, so I can always come back. Uh, new from current position, we'll do this, and we'll just call it Ice Moon. I have absolutely no idea what it's called. Anyway, I'll meet you on the surface. Actually, you know what? I don't think this is very big. That's coming in awfully quick. Hmm. This, if this is small as it is, this might actually come into an idea I've had. And we're already in the gravity well. Explorer, I just just got an achievement. Awesome. Now, I have heard rumors of the alien planet having alien bases on it. and uh, Or not alien bases, uh, pirates and stuff. 
Oh, cool. It is a giant ball of ice. Gee, good thing I had that survival kit on. And look at that. It's only six kilometers to it. That's not bad. Yeah, I heard the turn my dampers on. That's what my problem was. I'm sure everybody was looking in the lower left there saying, Is he going to notice? Is he going to notice? Oh, this is going to hurt. At least I'm close enough. We're going to actually get the damn thing. I got all that oxygen on me. Got all those bottles. I don't even know if I have any parts left. I did the work on the jump drive and all the solar cells that I've been mass producing are still still at the lab. Or the the CPH. Alright. Low gravity too. Nice. No. I'm looking at it, it's like, wait a minute, that's going the wrong way. How do I take off? Uh, I can't. Uh, just shift click. Oh, I had thruster components on me. Can't lose those. Oh, this is cool. I wonder if there's actually any ores on here. Ice. Where? Where's the ice? I don't see it. I know, I'm being a smart ass. Let's actually see if we got these dark spots like we do on other planets. Possibly. Or is this just another ice deposit? Well, technically. Yeah, the whole goddamn thing is going to show up ice everywhere. I don't think there's going to be anything else but ice, but if we need ice, I know where we need to go. Alright, so. Yeah, I could have sworn there was another another moon around here. Uh, apparently not. Anyway, I'll meet you back. Uh, I guess I'll meet you back at the station. Okay, we're home. Now let's go deal with our power situation. So what I want to do is I, want, I actually want to expand this solar array significantly. Uh, realistically, I want it to be big enough where I can see it down there. Not that we're ever going to be going down there anytime soon because this elevator doesn't work, but uh, yeah, that's going to be quite the project. So I'm going to strip this whole bottom row off um, just because I want to, you know, whenever I'm here and need power, I can always, you know, play God and adjust the sun, you know, for recording purposes, right? It's not about cheating. God, no. Anyway, uh, let me get these out of the way and then uh, I'm just going to go ahead and get a big bank of batteries going and a whole bunch more solar panels and I'll bring you back. Okay, I'm just finished up the last of the solar panels right now and I decided to add a little more than I was originally planning but I have 300. I got about 50, 54 per row in the front here minus the back so a little over 300 which is pretty good and then I went and put 96 batteries down here so I think we should be good for power for now. Definitely. Uh, right now they are they're surplusing. Uh, I don't have everything running right now though, so I don't know. I might have to add a few more. Oh, that's why they're surplusing because this thing is still attached to it. All right, let's get this thing undocked and out of the way. Please tell me I still have uranium in here. Uh. Wow, 200 kilos the whole time. Wow. All right, so now, I'm just trying to kill myself again. Yeah, I uh, stopped the Stellar Ray to recharge, and yeah, I hit the ground a little too hard. Um, turn that off. Uh, what was I doing? Oh, yeah, I was going to check the power, see what we're doing here. So they are all outputting quite a bit of power. And the batteries are actually taking in more than they're outputting. And that's good. And even then, it's, they're, they're fully charged. So that seems to be holding up. Now let's actually get some production going. Because the assemblers aren't actually running at the moment. So let's go and go stupid on something. 
Oh, what do you see? More solar panels. No. Well, we could always use plates. I got a whole bunch going on the other one, too. Let's actually see how many plates we're at now. Get that out of my face. Almost 600,000 steel plates. Love it. All right, so production is going. We've got three assemblers actually running, and we should have two refineries running. This thing is still should still be processing cobalt. I went and did a huge cobalt run, and this thing is still going. This thing is still oh, it's out of, out, of, out of iron already. That's fine. And then we had that one for the uranium, but we don't have any uranium going through. So uh, let's check see how the power is now. Now that we actually have stuff running, we're still doing good. We're holding steady. Well, there we go. Uh, I think we're going to call that one here. I just, a few things, like I said, I wanted to get done around here, like get a better power situation going. I didn't want to set up a reactor because that means actually going and getting more uranium in the process. And, you know, I like to keep that for mobile builds if I can. Or I'll try to use like mass solar or wind whenever, whenever necessary. But anyways, I'm going to call this one here. Uh, thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave me a like, and I will see you in the next one. Later.